everybody, and welcome to Ozarks Live. It's good to be back. Warm welcome to my co-host for the afternoon, Kaylee Kester. How are you doing? Doing well. I'm good. glad to be here. It's good to see you this <laughs> afternoon. Absolutely. Well, I've been gone for a little bit over a week. That's so a big question I'm sure everyone's asking. Where did she go? Well, mm -hmm. I, I, we probably saw on our Ozarks Live Facebook page, I was at the uh, National Restaurant Show. We're going to have a big two-day special in late June all about that. And then uh, one of my daughters won an award with uh, Hillcrest TV's um, HTV. Uh, uh, it's a podcast called um, Bay 11, and they actually won an RFK Journalism Award. So I went with them to Washington, D.C. to collect the award. So That's awesome. I've congrats. been on a whole lot of planes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, congrats to them for sure. Um, speaking of taking a trip, this girl and I are going <laughs> on something called a girlfriend getaway coming up in June. So there's you and me, and we've got Cammy, right? And who else is going? We've got Lauren, Lauren Barnes, right? And Elisa and Rafa. Elisa Rafa are all going to go. We're going to. We've got us an RV. Mm -hmm. We're going to load up in that RV, and we're going to leave for a solid week. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> Here's the problem, though. It's not like we're going to escape completely because you're sort of going with us. Yeah. What is it? Thirty-two counties in five days, or something? I, I can't even do the math. I know. It seems like a lot. It's a lot of counties. We're, we're on a very strict time schedule, but like 32, 36 counties in five days. And we're going to show you the best. We're going to zip line. We're going to go canoeing. We're going to check out some hotels. I think we're going to find the world's smallest wedding chapel. Have you looked at the Ooh, list of things? No. Have you added to the list of things? <laughs> no. <laughs> I right. should, though. Some of us in the office are coming up with things to do, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be jam-packed. It's going to be jam-packed, for sure. Something to do every day. I know. So anyway, we're going to take you along on that. It's going to be great fun. Um, and speaking of being back here, I can't even remember the last time Tom Turton and I were on the show <laughs> together. I did shake hands with him and get reintroduced today. I do rec <laughs> recollect his face. Something about him is familiar. But he is making another stop on our weather tour today on Ozark Slide. I have a feeling he's in a pretty good place if the weather gets a little bit iffy. So, Tom, where are you today? Well, I am in Nixa, and I am at F5 Storm Shelters. So, yes, it's a, it's a pretty good place to be considering all the weather. Now, you can come out. We can talk. You know, if you want to talk weather, we can talk weather. We can talk storm shelters. And you can also sign up for our Viewers Club. Plus, today, look at this right there. It's a Midland Emergency Weather Radio. We're going to be giving away one of these tonight. So, you sign up for our viewers club, or you can sign up for a drawing for this. Plus, on July 3rd, we're going to be drawing one of those names, and you may win one of these F5 storm shelters. That's gonna come our way on July 3rd. So, I'm gonna be out here till about 6.30. If you wanna come by and talk, you wanna come by and register, again, you might win. You don't have to be present, you know, you just kind of fill out the form, drop it in the box, and you may win one of these tonight, or who knows, on July 3rd, you may win one of these storm shelters. So come on out, we'll be here till 6.30, and I'll be back a little bit later in the show and tell you all about these storm shelters. Enjoy. When do the guys get to go out? Uh, I'm not worried about when the guys get to go out. Tom, I'm worried about when the girls get to yeah, go let's out. let's take our trip first. Thank you. You planned your own trip. He looks sad. I'll do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you go do that. All right. We'll see you later in the show, Tom. Thanks a bunch. Okay, we do have a great show for you this afternoon. We're going to check back in with Tom, of course, on the weather tour a little bit later. And your book club is back in the studio. Yeah, I love book club. That's so much fun. But before we get to all that good stuff, we're going to show you what's on the radar. There's something on my radar. There's something on her radar. But I'm going to start. Now, I just mentioned that I've been in two different cities last week. I think I took four planes, about 40 Ubers for real, <laughs> several lifts, one train, and two taxis. So You've been everywhere. It's been a long couple of weeks, <laughs> let me tell you that. But if you are planning a getaway this summer and you click for an Uber and it doesn't show up, that could be for a reason. Your account may have been deactivated, okay? This is a lesson for you if you're going to do some traveling. According to TechCrunch, Uber riders are at risk of deactivation if your rating falls significantly below a city's average. Okay, so pay attention to what you're doing. If you're canceling, if you're not treating people nicely, it could affect your ability to get a ride. Uber's head of safety, brand, and initiatives, Kate Parker, says respect is a two-way street. 
I agree. You know how you can rate your drivers? Mm -hmm. Well, now the drivers, of course, can rate you too, and that is nothing new. It's just that some people are breaking the rules badly. Uber says it will start offering tips for riders on good behavior and keeping the car clean. In other words, they're going to say, here are some things you can do to raise your profile. If you are at risk of deactivation, you may get a notification, something like this maybe. You do have a chance to redeem yourself and improve your rating, but you only get a certain amount of chances and then you won't be able to do that anymore. So I think that's kind of interesting that they're fighting back. The whole time I was gone to DC and Chicago, I think I canceled one ride. And if you cancel within a window, it's fine. Uh -huh. But if you let it go too long, uh -huh. those people are committed. They're yeah, the they're already there. Exactly. They're either there or they're almost there. So you kind of have to understand that. But yeah, if you if you go looking for your car and all of a sudden it's not there, it could be that you've been a bad little boy or girl. So don't do that, just so you know. It reminds me of that one Netflix show called Black Mirror. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone of this yeah. era. Yeah. Um, where one of the episodes is life based on rating, I feel like this is kind of coming to life. Oh gosh, that so. sounds exactly like what it is. So, so we'll see. <laughs> mind your manners, people. Don't dirty up the back of the car. Be nice, travel nice. It's all gonna work out for you in the long run. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Here's something on my radar. Do you still have and use an iPod? The iPod may seem outdated, but it's coming back. I use mine. Apple is releasing its first new iPod since 2015. CNN Business says Apple's iPhone sales are in a slump, and in response, the company is planning the release of a much less expensive iPod Touch. And this new iPod is getting an upgrade of itself. It has a faster Fusion chip, which will make it twice as fast as the last version. It will, go, it will do group FaceTime, and it has up to 256 gigabytes of storage. One more thing, it'll sell for between $199 and $399. So still a chunk of change. Yeah, I feel like you can probably get a phone for that. Almost. I mean, some of these updated iPhones are at least $1,000. Yeah, $1, yeah $300 plus more. Now, I got a wireless trends by a used one, and I've always had good luck with that. But, you know, if you buy a brand new one, it's going to cost you. Um, I have an old iPod that I took <laughs> on this trip, and here's the thing. It's one of the video iPods. Okay. Best playlists of my life are on there. Oh, I've God. worked years building those playlists. Something went wrong. I'm listening to the music. Something went wrong, and I tried to reset it, and I'm scared to death I wiped it out. Oh no. It's like been a that factory long. reset? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure, but it's been that long since I've used it that I'm afraid I accidentally pushed the two buttons together that I should not have. Mm -hmm. And so I don't quite know what to do, but it makes me so sad because I have the best playlist <sighs> in my life on that thing. Awful. I can redo them, but yeah. what a bummer. All those memories are gone. <laughs> Middle of a trip, I know. All right, coming up, we're going to sit down with Donna Lewis from the TRICARE Pregnancy Resource Center. Don't go away.